Hi, I'm Terry Combs with Equipment Zone. Today we'll be talking about the entire direct-to-garment process. There are a few components you need to be a direct-to-garment printer. The first, of course, is your printer. We'll be using the Epson F2000 direct-to-garment printer. The second component, if you're printing on dark garments, you'll need to pre-treat the shirt first. So we'll be using the Speed Treater TX automatic pre-treat machine. This machine is actually manufactured by Equipment Zone right here in New Jersey. The third component is your heat press. Be sure to have a good quality heat press. We'll be using the Geonite DK20 heat press. The fourth component will be your computer. If you're a PC user, you can drive any direct-to-garment printer. If you're a Mac user, the Epson F2000 is your only option. The Epson F2000 is the only PC and Mac compatible direct-to-garment printer on the market today. All direct-to-garment printers come with either a RIP software or a print driver. The Epson F2000 comes with a print driver called Garment Creator. Garment Creator communicates with the printer, tells it to print the shirt. What we'll do first is create the image on our computer. You'll need an art program. If you're using Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator or any art program, we recommend use the program you're comfortable with. If you don't have an art program, we do recommend you buy Photoshop. Once you create your image, it's on the screen just the way you want it to appear on the shirt. You're going to export that file to Garment Creator. What you'll see is this rectangle on the screen. This rectangle represents the shirt platen. So you position the art on this rectangle. That's where it's going to print on the shirt platen. If I'm going on a dark shirt, I need to come over and select one of the white underbase options. A light option, a medium option, and a heavy option. Really a matter of personal preference. Once I make that selection, then the printer knows it's going to print white first and then print color on top. Once I've done this, I hit the print button and we're ready to go. The next step in the process is to pre-treat the shirt. You simply open the drawer, lay the shirt on the platen just as if you're printing, tuck in the excess, and close the drawer. To pre-treat the shirt, we push the start button, and it just takes a few seconds to pre-treat it. Once it's pre-treated, we want to dry the shirt on the heat press. We're going to use silicone paper to protect the heating element. The heat press is set at 330 degrees. We want to use heavy pressure when we do this as well. The drying process normally takes 20 to 30 seconds. We need the shirt to be completely dry in the print area. Our shirt is dry, we're ready to go to print. We'll remove the hoop, place the shirt on the platen. We want to check the sides to make sure that it's square on the platen. Replace the hoop and we're ready to print. Shirt's printed and ready to be cured. Remove the hoop. To cure the shirt, we place it on the heat press. We'll use silicone paper again. We're going to cure for 90 seconds with a dark shirt with white ink. We're set at 330 degrees with light pressure. We've heat set the shirt and we're ready to go. Thanks for watching this Equipment Zone video. I'm Terry Combs. For more information, call 1-800-408-0040 or go to our website, equipmentzone.com. Thanks for watching.